Okay, people, I went to do a training video on the Commission Gorilla. Okay, now there's a few gray areas that have popped up. Okay, so obviously, um, if you're using through my promo review B, you don't have to worry because there will be a link. You just copy in your Commission Gorilla uh, import code and it will already be done and you won't have this issue. However, if you're actually creating your own reviews, all right, as I am, uh, and as a review I'm doing for Daryl at the moment, which is Supersonic Solos, um, I have just enough time just to do this video, and I'm just going to show you basically how we can overcome this. Because before, what I used to do was, if I wanted to put something in here, I used to click on here, highlight this like so, go into my Supersonic Solos, right mouse click, copy the Dropbox link, uh, and it normally comes up like so then go back in here then control V paste that in and click OK and what they used to do is that used to give up my display now for some reason don't quite know what it is at the moment I have looked um, I have asked a few people I'm just waiting for a few replies to see what's going on however there is a workaround and I want to show you this workaround so you know exactly how to do this yourself now whether you are, if you're using like a WordPress site um, or if you're using something that's very similar to WordPress, what I'm going to be showing you is a training video that's going to help you overcome this issue. Uh, and it's going to give you a little bit of an idea of how you're going to do this, okay? Once you get the sizes right, it will automatically work out, okay? Right, so let's get straight on to this training tutorial. So we're going to be using Canva as a canvas, if you like. Um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be using a size. Now you'll see the first one which I've done already. This one here was 1030 by 150 pixels. Okay, it's very important because uh, this is perfect for this. All right, it works lovely on this. All right, so that's that. So this one here where I'm going to be using Doward's image, I'm going to be using 1030 by 1030. Okay. You could do 1080 by 1080, but it might stretch it out too much. And what you want to do is when you go into your Canva, um, you basically want to use your custom size. Now, this is free, okay? I'm, I'm not paying for this. So if we go back into this as if it's brand new, click onto the home, it's going to come up with this. You may struggle to find your custom size. What you need to do is click on here and it will Canva and it will bring up. The custom size okay now what we would do is click on this type in 1030 1030 now 1080 by 1080 will work as well because that's probably pretty much what you use for Instagram um, posts but I use 1030 by 1030 okay in PX which is pixel format and you want to enter and it's going to create a canvas okay this is that box which i told you about so then what you want to do now is upload your images that you would have already got okay so if i click on here and then click on here i'm going to upload my image so for argument's sake inside my downloads i know that i have this one here okay which i've already removed the background so i'm just going to load this in and I'm just going to put this in like so. And you'll see that so what I'm going to do is if I grab this corner and just bring it in a little bit. And I'll just restrain it. And that's going to give me uh, an image. Okay, now one good job. I'm going to use black as the background. This black always looks a bit better. So we're just going to pop black on there like so. Okay, and then I'm going to save it. So this one here is going to be um supersonic now this is this is really good you want to make sure that you get into the habit of doing this because if you put this on your wordpress um these are your keywords okay and then you want to put 10030 10030 and you want to save me jpeg otherwise it's going to be slow for the actual um thing to open up so we're going to do now is hit share we're going to go to download I always save in ping anyway, okay, because if I ever enhance it onto a video, it's sharper. So if I'm rendering a video or I'm putting it onto my HitFilm Express, I always use the ping 
um, because it's going to condense it all down on the video anyway all right but if I'm actually putting this with inside um, my actual um, review or some page or website then I make sure it's always in a JPEG format because you want your picture to open up as quickly as possible otherwise people will get bored and they will move on okay so we've got this that's 10 feet by 10 feet so what we're going to do now is we're going to, i'm going to show you how we're going to host this so we're going to move across to here okay uh, and you'll see that this is uh, one that i've already got i'm going to close this off this is my blog okay so what i do is this is inside my engine of the blog okay so this is inside my dashboard now this is any pretty much any WordPress okay now if you're using any other site that's very similar to WordPress you're going to have very much the same sort of thing so if I show you this this is going to be this will work for pretty much anything okay so what you want to do is go to media click on media then you want to click on add new then you want to click on select file now you can drag and drop that into that box but it's going to be easy for me to show you this, okay, because then you're going to have a better idea. So you can see that this is a JPEG one. So I'll grab this and open. And you'll see that this file's open. Now, if I click on this link, okay, this has opened up this page. And then I could, if I want to, put a description. I'm not too worried about it because I'm only using this for my review, okay. However, I did say it's quite important to make sure you do that. Copy URL to clipboard. So you can see it says copied. Go back to my commission griller. Click on the settings, and this is the one which wouldn't work. Remember, Control V, and now hit OK, and you'll see now that this page has come up nicely. Okay, so it's starting to work. So we've got newbies without a list of them. Okay, now I want to change this one. You notice that I'm actually writing over one of my own um, reviews. So I've cloned this review and then I'm converting this review now for the supersonic solos, okay? This is how you want to do it because then you've already got the template made out. Uh, all you've got to do is make sure that the sizing that you're using, um, because WordPress will get very finicky if you do not get the sizes right, okay? Um, although this isn't WordPress, what we're using here, this is Commission Grilla version 3. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put another caption in here. So I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to change this to 150, like so. Okay, now hit create. This is going to open up another bit of my canvas, which is here. And then I'm going to copy in um, something else that I'm going to be using inside my review. Okay, so if we go to uploads again, oh, actually, it's already in. So it's this one here. This is the one I want to use. Okay, so I'm going to grab this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this until it does that and then I've got that all in okay um, you can stretch it out move it around etc but this is for the whole of the box so if we go back here you'll see that the first one which I've done which is this one here and I'm gonna have another one down here so what we're gonna do is I've put my size in in I told you what it was 1030 by 150 pixels okay uh, I've copied this in here because this is roughly what it was before uh, and now all I need to do is just put the design so it's going to be take your solos okay that would do uh, by 1030 by 150 the idea of this is it's a lot easier for you to find okay that's the only reason why I do this click on share download JPEG download okay so we've got that and then I'm gonna I'm going to ping as well so ping download just in case I want to use this on a video okay because I'm going to be doing a live training tutorial uh, and when I do the video and I do the rendering I'll be able to use this uh, art work as well so it's going to be catching out a few things okay so what we're going to do now is I want to also um, I want to also download um, my actual um, funnel okay so what we do is we go back into Dropbox like so and I'm going to pop in here now I'm hoping at some stage um, what problem I have where I can't use my Dropbox anymore will clear itself up but if it doesn't then this is something that I have to do all the time now the beauty of it is I've already created my templates right so when I do my next one 
Uh, all I need to do is just put everything in pretty much the same uh, that I've already done. Okay, so this is this is the one I want to use here. So I'm going to click on here, copy. Okay, and then I'm going to open this up. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back, or I'm going to close this down. Cancel, close this down. Go to here, change this to 1030. And then I'm going to hit create design. And then I'm going to paste in my funnel for supersonic solos, okay? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here. See, I can actually paste if I want to. You can do that as well, right? Uh, control paste. Control to paste. Copy and paste. Okay, so if I do control V. Or the other way you can do it. When I'm filming, it always plays this up. That's why I always do it this way. And then I can just move this up like so. And then what I could do is I could drag this out until we can see it a bit better. Okay. Now, even though it's over this, it doesn't matter. It's still going to, to show it. Okay, so that's that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put in the design. So this one is Super Sonic Solos 10030 by 10030. Okay. And then share, download. I'm going to download ping first. Doesn't matter. I'm only going to use JPEG anyway with inside my review. But as I said before, I might use it on my video. And it's just going to be a bit clearer if um, I use my ping. So I'm going to download. So you see I've downloaded in ping format and there's my JPEG format. Now just in case you're interested to know what the size difference is, uh, it's quite quite vary, okay? So if we go into downloads, if you see here we've got 164 kilobytes on JPEG and 1.6 megabyte on ping so that's a thousand kilobytes okay uh oh so you know that's the reason why we've cut it down it's pretty one tenth of memory as opposed to a ping okay so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back here uh, we're going to run through here i'm going to click on this bit here and this is where i'm going to paste in my link now you might be asking yourself why do you have to transfer it across to okay to a wordpress site or to a dropbox site or to a hosting now bear in mind there are lots and lots of hosting sites out there that you can actually do and you can sign up for about three or four dollars every single month put it on there and then you're going to copy your hosting address okay so there's plenty of ways that you can do this all right um why you have to do this is because the actual art lives inside here okay all you're doing is you're you're actually pasting a copy so you're allowing an, an attachment an extension from the actual art from here going to mailing boss okay so what it's doing is it's, it's mirror is mirror imaging to commission gorilla that's pretty much how it works okay so what we're going to do is we're going to pop up i'm going to go back to download and i'm going to pop up this one here now which was my list which is this one here okay this is a jpeg open this up same thing's going to apply you click on it all i need to do is copy this link okay so copy url is copied go back to here and now control v and okay and what you, you can see now i'm slowly starting to build my review page okay now this is a bit more time consuming now you see because before um i used to just really really quick with dropbox okay you can see that i can quite do this quite quick anyway with with wordpress um but wordpress is quite universal to other ways that you would do it okay um so i'm just giving you a little bit of a rundown of how you do this so this basically if you look if we click on this this is a link okay and you can see darrenbrown.com wordpress content uploads from my actual wordpress all right so this is almost like 
a mirror image copy that's been sent across. Okay, that, that's how that works. I just want to explain that so you're aware of that, right? Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do another one. So we're going to have a look and see what else we can pop in here. So you can see at the moment that we've got this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my downloads page. And then I'm going to scroll up, go into my Dropbox, Supersonics Review. And you can see at the moment, let's just view these a bit bigger so I can see them. Okay, so we have done at the moment, I've done this one, I've done this one, I've done this one. So we're going to do this one. Okay, so I'm going to, as I said to you before, it won't work if I copy this at the moment. So this is one I'm going to use, and it's pretty much the same size as this. So this is going to be 1030 by 1030. So what I need to do now is go back into my, this is my Canva. Okay, so 1030 by 1030, create new design. It's going to open up a page. And then I'm going to copy that into here. Okay, so what I'm going to do with that is go to Uploads, Upload File. Uh, and then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to open. Now remember, it doesn't take this out. All it does is takes a copy of this and installs this onto my Canva. Okay, then hold on to it, drag it to the corner, let go. And then that's exactly what I want it to do. Okay. Now it looks a bit big, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it down a bit. And then just see if I can open it up. And then do the same here, okay? So you just play around with it until it looks right. Then we're going to put ready, finally. So I don't matter about the spelling mistakes, as long as it's unique, okay? And then it's 10 to by 10.30, share, download. I'm going to save it in the ping format because I may use this for my videos, as I said before. Or you might want to use it for something else, you know, because you, it's much better if you do it that way. All right, download, and we're going to put it into JPEG, download. So I've got a copy in ping format and a copy in JPEG format. Then I'm going to go back to Commission Griller. And what I'm going to do is scroll through and I'm going to pop it in here. And that's where it's going to go. It's going to go into this one here. OK, so for me to get that mirror image, I've now got to pop that onto my media. OK, so I'm going to click on here and I'm going to click on media, add new. OK, we're going to add new. Select file. And then I'm going to go to downloads. I'm going to grab my computer is a little bit slow because I'm filming. You can see this looks sharper, but as I said before, I want it so it opens quicker. Click on open. You'll see that this is opening up. Click on here. Copy the URL link. Go back to Commission Griller. I'll just put my mouse over where I've highlighted. Control and V. Now hit OK. And this will change to that. OK, so that's that. And then what I'm going to do then is go back to my folder, have a look, see if there's anything else I want to add. So I've done this one, I've done this one, I've done this one, I've done this one. So I'm going to do this one as well. Okay, so this one here, as I said before, I can use a Dropbox link, but it's not going to work for some reason. Um, so this is your workaround. So this is going to help you overcome this issue. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back. Now it's about if we look at this, this was 1030 by 1030. So we could probably do 1030 by 800 for this. OK, so what I'm going to do now is go back to here or 700. We'll try 700. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to here. I'm going to click and change this. So my width is going to be OK. It's so my height then is changing. So let's do 700. Create design. And you'll see that this is a design here. OK. And we're going to copy in the information which shows all about Doward. So we're going to click on here. Now we're going to click on Upload. Now we're going to go to my Supersonic Solo Review. Could grab this, open this. Wait till this is uploaded. Drag this across like so. We're just going to move this around until eventually it locks okay which is that so at the moment we need to bring this down 
bring this out. Okay, so we just need a little bit of adjustment. That's fine, that works really well like that. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on here. We're gonna put um, about Doward and it's 10.030 by 700. Now, if you write these down, this will give you a little bit of a ballpark figure of what you wanna be aiming to use, okay? So we're gonna click on share, we're gonna to go to download, ping we're going to download first of all so we're going to grab this right, we're going to go to share we're going to click download we're going to move to jpeg and then we're going to hit download again so we've got these two copies we're going to go back to my media folder close this down and then i'm going to as i said showed you before you click on media click on add new go to select files grab my image okay which is not going to be this one actually it's going to be the one that I've already done because I've already sized it otherwise there's a chances are that if I haven't actually preset the sizes and I use my folder which I've already got the sizes are going to be incorrect okay so that's the reason why it's 1030 by 700 so we've got this click on that click on copy URL back to here click on here and we're just going to grab this Control and V. Oh, hello. It's just where I got it wrong. Control and V. And OK. And you'll see that this picture is working really well. So what I'm going to do is take this out. And I'm going to take this out. Take this out. And you can see the reason why we use Commission Griller, right? It's super, super fast. OK. So we're just going to change this to Super Sonic solos now all my actual reviews i do okay go into my promo review beta access and when they're in there um, you actually can use a code okay an import code so everything's done for you you basically get the same copy of this with what i've just created okay so you don't have to worry about doing any of this yourself it's already done for you okay so i'm just going to change um the bonuses so at the moment um, i'm going to be using some really good bonuses that i've popped in here at the moment i've just got to find them so i'm just searching through now i've got quite a few bonuses on here so it's going to take me a little while to find the ones that i want to add in here so we just get bear with me while I do this. So hits for you bonus is, is one which I've just built. So this is another bonus here. Okay, because I use um, my own bonuses, but I also make sure that they're unique, that other people haven't got. And this works really well because people search around to see what bonuses they can get. And I find that I get a better sales revenue by giving people other stuff that other people haven't got, right? That's how it works for me. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll through and I'm going to find another one which I've created. Partner up with me. This is this one here. Uh, and then we're going to do this one. And then that will be the last one, I think. Let's just have a little look. Um, we're going to use the Warrior Plus Repair Kit. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, we'll leave it at that. That's perfect. So all I need to do now is set up uh, my timer. Okay. So we're going to look through here. Sunday the 3rd of September. That's when it runs out. So I'm just going to go to my timer. I need to make sure that my timer is changed as well. Okay, so we'll just click on here. Now this pretty much stays the same. All you need to do is make sure that it's 2023. September. And it's the third it runs out i'm going to change the color to green okay so that's done all right so we're all good to go okay most importantly always 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 remember to save and exit now the first thing there's a few things we've got to do in a minute i'm just going to roll through why we're here uh, i might as well do it so there's my bonus crate that i've got to add okay um there's my link okay this is my bonus crate 
This looks far more professional than putting your affiliate link with inside your YouTube channel, which I've actually done at the moment, okay? And you'll see that when we open this up, you'll see now that this is working really well, showing all the bonuses, etc. And this gives people an idea of what they're gonna get when they purchase supersonic solos and also then when they go to the sales page they're going to see the extra bonuses that Dowd is already given as vendors bonuses which is hopefully going to be enough then to want them to buy the product okay uh, that's why i don't tend to give out th that information with inside this because it just pushes them over the edge then and they normally then um purchase by doing that okay and that's quite a good way of doing this now, there's a couple of things i just need to do here um, I just need to make sure that my affiliate link, if we come here, I've just got to make sure my affiliate link, which is this one here, I'm just going to copy this. This is my affiliate link, which I've been approved to by Doward. Okay, copy. And then I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to go to my Supersonic Solo, which is this one here. And then I click on here, which is my edit. And I'm just going to finalize a few things and change a few things, okay? Just to finalize. So it's nearly near enough there now, ready to go. So I'm just going to highlight this across like so. Click on here. Paste that in, okay? So that's my URL. Click. And now I'm going to change that to green again. Like so, okay? So now when someone clicks on that, it highlights, okay? First thing you want to do is make sure that you put your bonus page name, put your Warrior Plus link in here and your Warrior Plus link in there. Also make sure that you change, very, very important, your delivery page file name bonus, which is here, okay, which I've done. And then you just want to make sure after you've done that, um, you save and exit, okay. And I'm gonna be I'm I will be doing that very shortly. I'm just checking to make sure that there's anything I haven't forgot. So we don't need two bonuses close together. So we're going to take that out. Okay, so that looks okay. That's that. And that's that. So that's good. It's all good to go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on the link, which is here. And I'm just going to um, put this in my hosting site. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my PMP. I'm going to show you very, very quickly how you do that. Okay, so this would be my share code so as soon as you put this share code in it's going to give you that exact replica of that review that i've just created this one here is the bonus okay so this is where the bonus is all set up and this goes back into here if i go to links and settings and that would be going in here okay which i would do shortly and then um This one here is, is actually my PHP, okay? So I'm gonna click on here. And what this does, this allows me to host onto another uh, onto another website, okay? So you, there's a few things you do have to do, but it's all explained with inside the training, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just grab that, so I'm gonna go over here. Let's just type in GoDaddy and click Enter. I'm just gonna sign in to GoDaddy is here so i'm going to go to my products which is here scroll down i'm going a bit too fast with this machine at the moment it's it says hang on down slow down can't keep up with you click on web hosting and then i'm going to click on manage This is almost like the C panel. They've changed it a bit, so the C panel is a bit different now. Uh, but it's pretty much easier to work with. What you've got to do is remember that when it loads up, you click on your file manager, which is this one here. And this is going to open up your file manager, which is in your C panel, okay? And then you want to click on public HTML, upload. And this is where you add in that file, okay, which I've just downloaded. So we click on select file. Uh, it won't be in quick access, it's normally just in downloads, okay, but I've, this is where it is here. 
supersonic solo php click ok and what this is going to do this is going to help the actual review page open up a lot quicker okay so that's done right so now when we click on this now we go back to close that down all right we're going to go back into here i'm going to copy this now paste this now close this down open up that's the wrong one it's okay though i can use it your channel I'm just going to go call, over my name's Darren. to my videos and I'm just going to paste this into my supersonic review plus my money making bonuses okay so this is it here you'll see it's unlisted because I'm not letting this out yet so what I do is I click on the edit or I, if I open this just click on this and open it up it will give it will allow me to edit anyway okay so what we'll do now is we're going to change this here for my bonus crate and that looks far more professional okay it's much better and then i'm going to put a tick so i'm going to copy this tick here right mouse click copy and i'm going to pop it in there space okay looks much better much much better now hit save and now when I click and paste in my bonus crate, okay, that's the wrong one. Just give me a minute. Let's go back to Sonic, Super Sonic, there it is, Super Sonic. Click on there. Grab my bonus crate copy, go over here, paste. And you'll see this opens up a lot quicker see how quick that opens up and now when anyone clicks on this link this is going to take you to Doward's sales page like so and then they're going to see the bonuses that are already included which are here these are all the bonuses and hopefully that will seal the deal if they're interested to buy it from me they're not only going to get my bonuses but they're going to get downwards bonuses as well let's keep this nice and simple Your so you can see this here this is the actual thing so that's it hopefully this is going to help you it's going to give you a quick demo all right of how you can actually get this running so as i said to you before all you've got to do is make sure really that you just transfer all your images across to your media media library now what will happen is now you've got all the templates so if i just close these down right we're going to close these down i'm going to close that down as well okay now you've got all the templates when you um if we go uh, let's go back here a minute go to home you'll see that all the templates have already been made up so how you can do this now is you can literally just copy and paste your templates back into this. I'm just going to refresh it and then I'll show you what I mean. There you go. So these are the templates that are already there. So all you would do is when you copy and paste um, certain things to make another review video, you've already got the sizes already for you. So you'd pretty much pop in the same of what you're using. So this is your image, for instance, and this is what you would put across like so. Now, the only thing I haven't done right is I haven't done the thumbnail. So I'm just going to show you quickly. Now, I personally don't use Canva for thumbnails. You can, okay? I use Thumbnail Blaster because I've just got it built in. This is this is what I do. Okay, so I'm just going to get into here. Nine, eight, seven. I'm just going to do this really, really quick, so I can do this really, really quickly for you. And it's it's beneficial for you to know how to do this, right? Uh, and also, what you do is when you use this, you'll see I've got three accounts that are set up with inside my uh, thumbnail blaster. So I just click on thumbnail blaster, and it will be my account, which is my Darren Brown account. That I'm using because this is my affiliate marketing account okay so it's just gonna open this up now it's always a little bit slow when we're recording and what I need to do is just refresh the page refresh and it's gonna grab 
all the pictures which is so you can see here supersonic solo reviews this is the one i want so we'll click on this now i have a certain formula that i use okay and i'm gonna hit next step uh, because I use the same template time and time again and what I find is this works really well because people then look for your video they know that you're going to be putting this video up all the time I use this one here okay so I'm going to use clickbait template use template we're going to open this up and it's going to give me a rough idea of what it's going to look like okay so I'm just going to take this out I'm going to go to image, upload, and I'm just going to grab, download, and I'm just going to grab this one here, okay? It's going to be the remove, this one here, remove background picture, okay, which is this one here. So I'm going to grab this, and you'll see then I can just move this across, I can move this up like so, and this is super simple, super quick, okay? This is the reason why I use this, okay? I'll get this out and there's one thing that you must always do when you are doing a thumbnail is you need to make sure that you brand it okay you need to brand it I'm just gonna put that like that okay like that okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put two URLs so we're gonna use text grab that Two links and super solos. Right. Turn it out. Now, why this works really well is you can play around with this really, really quickly. Okay. You can see I've got the spelling wrong, so it's, it's very easy to play around with it. And then what I'm going to do now is if I just scroll this up a bit, click on here make this red and then I'm going to have a shadow and the shadow I'm going to make yellow Just that one there okay and it just brings that out okay that's that's what we're doing here right now I'm going to add in my image so I'm going to go to images I'm going to pop this one in here add grab it over there like that now the idea is I'm branded it okay so when people come and see my video they're going to say, hey, this is Darren. Darren did this review, right? So they're going to know. They're going to know who it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a review page. Um, let me have a look. Just got to move this up here a minute. I'm just going to find my review page. And then what you can do is you can add in loads of things here. You can use this. Click on that. Add. I'm going to open this up. Like that. Okay. Back to image. Bonus. I'm going to use the bonus. This bonus works well. Add. Right over there like that. Bring that down like that. Okay, so we've got supersonic solos, two links, and super solos, okay? So I'm just giving you a sort of, that would do, all right? And I'm gonna put review. So if we put solo, if we put review, so people know it's a review. I'm just gonna fold it in. Gonna take that out. Okay, and then we're gonna open this up like that. Okay, that's done. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that. So I just need to make sure that I create template. So I'm just gonna put super sonic solos. Doesn't matter, you know. The idea is a few spelling mistakes there, but you get the idea going to save as a jpeg so i can reuse that somewhere else save and continue it's going to 
change it over now you'll see that this is my actual thumbnail publish it so it's now being published to my Darren Brown YouTube channel and then I've got to publish it again just to be on the safe side like so and now when I go to my YouTube page okay and it, if I refresh this this page now should turn to my thumbnail there we go and that thumbnail looks much better than it did before trust me right so I've wrote out all of my this is my description I've made sure that my bonus quote is in here access here so that's all done okay and that's going to give them access to my review so that's it that is the training mainly of this training was to basically show you um, if you're using Dropbox how you can now use uh, another method to actually use as a hosting to host those um, actual pictures into your commission griller okay so that's it all the very best cheers